All right, and welcome back to our show. I am Brother Medina at the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, located at our new address at 35th and Racine. You can find us in the Bridgeport Artist Loft, also known as the Bridgeport Art Center over there and uh, always email us if you see something interesting at enterprisegallery at gmail.com that's enterprisegallery at gmail.com i appreciate y'all tapping in we got such an exciting show today that uh i'm gonna try to keep things moving at an exponential pace so hopefully i don't move too fast for you and uh you know i always like to start off on some of the latest and the greatest things that we've been up to uh, with the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, um, spring break with the children, you know, crystal mining in Arkansas, trying to get in tune with the heartbeat of Mother Nature and all of that other awesome stuff. Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, you know, you see the kids out there crystal mining, trying to, um, trying to expose them to some things that we don't see every day here in our normal inner city areas, you know. Yes, indeed. Oh, I guess I could have. Right Look at that. We got Taylor. She found a nice crystal out there in Hot Springs in the uh, Crystal Vortex. And we are back at the Show Some Love show. I'm your host, Brother Medina. Show some love uh, for me. You know, you can call in, ask some questions if you hear something interesting. Um, but, uh, you know, we like to highlight some of the awesome things that are going on in the community and in the world, of course, you know, with arts and creativity and how do we continue with our mission of uplifting humanity using arts and creativity. The Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, show some love show. We back. Um, man, we got an awesome yet interesting show today and vice versa. Um, it's going to be jam-packed with all kind of stuff. You know, we will be um, having a continuation of our talk on arts as well as healing arts. Last time uh, we were on the show a couple weeks ago, we were talking about different types of healing arts. We were talking about, uh, talking about uh, energy and frequencies and light therapy and sound therapy. And we've really been on a roll, actually, for the last year. If you remember, we brought in some people that were dealing with singing bowls and dirigidus and different types of musicians and different levels of artistry. But one thing that um, we uh, are doing our next few episodes on is the uh, continuation of the area of the healing arts. Um, the healing arts, as a matter of fact, let me, uh, let me pull this up on the internet right quick so I can see what um, Google says about the healing arts. So you ain't got to take my word for it. We can um, take Google's word for it. Huh, let me pull this up right quick. Uh, healing arts. Well, maybe I should, shouldn't ask Google, I should ask Wikipedia. They probably got more information. Let's see, healing art. Okay, that's somebody's, somebody's movie. You know, that ain't the right one either. So, you know, the internet, has so much information. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. If uh, I got a little slide, I'm going to pull up right quick for y'all to read along with me. But the healing arts are creative practices that promote healing, wellness, coping, and personal change. Traditional healing arts include music, art, dance, movement, poetry, writing, and drama therapies. Wow. And uh, man, it looks like we might have a call in already, and I ain't even I ain't even said nothing yet. Uh, let's patch our call in. Maybe they got the wrong number. Maybe they maybe they got the right place. Let me see. Go on to patch them on in. Good evening. You on the show? Some love, so. Yes, sir, brother. Uh, I was just watching your show, and I'm so used to. Uh, you know, I haven't seen you in such a long time, but I remember all the things that. You was bringing to the community on 79th when you guys was there and on 95th. Uh, and I remember how so many young young entrepreneurs came out of that establishment that you have and the things that you're exposed to. And to be able to bring something like this to the new generation is art and that thing that you was doing with the crystal mine, that is amazing. And I can't wait to 
come to that place on 35th, I heard they also have a place that's called the Underground Cafe, uh, was a part of that organization as well, man. And I just want to say big ups and keep on the good work, brother. Yeah, well, I sure appreciate it, brother. Obviously, you somebody that has been following our work, you know, and we've been in the community uh, for a long time, uh, different uh, neighborhoods, different art galleries, but wherever we locate it, we act as a beacon of light for uh, our community, for our young people, and for ourselves, you know, like they say, still sharp and still. So obviously, if you have been engaged with what we're doing, you know, you're one of those brothers that are a community asset that we need to continue um, doing the good work. As a matter of fact, you did mention one of our latest projects where uh, we uh, uh, we actually had a, a paint party for the children, right? Did I lose my caller? He gone already? Well, anyway, we, we did have a paint party for the children uh, with my man, Minister Thunder, and the community uh, brought the youth out. It was free. Uh, it was awesome. And we will continue to do awesome things um, with the Inglewood Enterprise Gallery, the Underground K Cafe. Uh, also, way back in the days, Ghetto Gallery, Beauty Turner. You know, we got to pay much respect to our ancestors and our elders because uh, really Beauty Turner was the one that got us all started. As a matter of fact, let me just change my camera angle right quick so I can get it back in the studio. Beauty Turner was the one that started uh, started it all um, with uh, bringing us under her wing and you know, one of those elders, or really at this point, one of those ancestors that showed us the importance of telling our story. Um, Beauty established the uh, Ghetto Gallery. She also established Beauty's Ghetto Tour. And uh, of course, Ghetto is an acronym for the greatest history ever told to ours. And um, that's one of the motivations that we use in everything that we do, because it's important that we continue to tell our own story. Um, there's an old African proverb that says, until the lion writes his own story, the tale of the hunt will always glorify the hunter, you know. So we have to make sure that we continue to tell our story. We continue to, um, and as like, like I like to do, um, I like to tell my story in colors. I like to tell my story using art. Maybe you have an abstract story, you know, and it brings us back around to the healing arts and how many different ways can we engage creativity, positivity, therapy, and come up with ways to show some love in our community? Once again, it's the Englewood Enterprise Gallery. We're back for the season. I know it's been a while. You know, I know y'all ain't blowing up the phone lines yet, but the number is right there, 312-738-1060. Also, talking about the healing arts, I got a little video clip that I want to bring y'all around to. Um, as, a, as what I would consider myself to be somewhat of a, a, a master student in my travels in life, trying to continue to learn. Um, actually, this is one of our latest creative experiences that we are putting together under the uh, consultation of the elders and the guidance of the ancestors, which uh, is the new moon Anipi. All right. Now, an Anipi is what some people consider to be a sweat lodge and is an ancient practice that has been handed down um, throughout generations from the ancient teachers and the um, ancient ancestors. Um, but before I get into that, I'm going to play a short video clip of uh, an elder that I have here who has been trained in some very sacred ceremonies that I consider to be healing arts that are used to help us and help us recalibrate and energize. So I'm going to play a little bit of this brother. Okay, I Bobby was Kwame, uh, Kwame Sunhorse delivering their for some get some information on There's what exactly alley the Anipa is. Right there, and, and I got a caller right coming up, but I'm gonna play this video right gallery. quick before we patch him in. You, you sent me up there. Yeah. Um. Oh, there. No, teepees and the regalia for the movie Dancing with Wolves. He was Muskogee Creek, and I met him, and then I got introduced to John Silverthorne, who was another uh, Muskogee. And so I got introduced to the ceremony, and it was funny because I was going up in Tekoa, 
and nothing black up there but dirt and, and asphalt and and going up there to do you know uh, sweat lodge and it was that that first experience that being introduced to the Nipe ceremony and it was really funny because I'm the only thing dark in there besides the dark triple darkness in there everybody's bunched up together so I had plenty of room you know but the thing that happened that spirit introduced me to it was when they brought in the grandfathers they glow and that orange glow and I'm looking at the grandfather and then all of a sudden I'm looking at everybody because my spirit went into I became the grandfather and I was watching everybody and and what was going I was even looking at myself and and was trying not to to run out and think I was getting ready to go crazy I was just trying to deal with it. and a woman start crying when she was doing her prayers and she screamed and I snapped back into my body. And then I told him about it. He says, you're to, to work with the Nipe. That was spirit telling you, you are to work with the Nipe. The mineral people said that you are to work. And that's when I began the becoming a fire keeper and began to learn how to do the ceremony of the Nipe. Wow, that was um, that was a phenomenal story, um, you know, and uh, it's interesting. Oh, yeah, let me, before I get into that with that whole diatribe, I got a call on the line, and they so few and far in between. Let me go on and see what my call is talking about today. Hello? Yes. I'm oh, sorry, um, can hi, you, my name is Bill. I'm sorry, can you can you pause your video for me, sister? I think I hear hear us playing in the background, or maybe turn the uh, TV oh, down a little bit. Yes, because we I definitely can, definitely want to hear definitely want to hear what you have to share with us. Oh, uh, my name is Janae, and I just wanted to say that um, I'm grateful you got Sunday. I was able to come out and bring my four kids to the painted set. It was very professional, and it was just. The, the, the guys that own the place were very professional, and my my kids had a good time. So I was, I wanted to show some love and and, and give thanks for that. Oh man, I appreciate that, sis. Um, we haven't met yet, but that it won. Yeah, it warms my heart that, um, you know, we have people like yourself that appreciate what we're doing and what we are trying to create for our community, you know, because uh, uh, the only way we can impact the things that we don't like is to create more of the things that we do like and more of the things that we need in our community, and you're a part of that process, and uh, we can't do it by ourselves, so we greatly appreciate the help of you and your family. And I wanted to inquire about the, the trips, like the go mine. Is there anything else at the, as far as the underground cafe for children or anything else coming in the, in the near future? Yes, indeed. We'll, we'll definitely keep you on the list, sis. We got a bunch of stuff going on. We have some trips coming up, actually. Uh, I'm going to play a little video since you mentioned that. We always like to get out and get some recreation. We have some things that will be going on at Star of Rock. Uh, we also have some other family retreats as well as some creative retreats that we're putting together. So we'll definitely keep you in tune, and we appreciate you uh, reaching out. Okay, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Appreciate you. Have a great day. You too. Yes. That's um that's that's awesome. You know, we're gonna continue to do what we do in the community. And once again, seven I mean three one two seven three eight one zero six zero is actually the number. Uh, to call if you want to chime in and show some love for anything that you see or you don't see that uh, you would like to see. Um so bringing it back around to the ceremony and this brother who was summoned by the ancestors to do this work. Um you know, uh, we really appreciate people like him in the community who has made their life work to bring us the information. Because if we don't keep the chain of information, if we don't keep the chain of different sciences and different art forms, if we don't keep the chains of love and the uh, knowledge of ancient practices uh, in rotation, then we will forget some of these things. And we don't really know uh, what type of detriment we will continue to have in our community. So we appreciate him bringing the knowledge and the science of the Anipe and the sweat lodge and actually how it 
helps enhance the human spirit. I think I actually got another caller calling in. We'll tap a man uh, in one second, but it enhances the human spirit. I don't know if y'all caught the part in the video where the brother said that he had an out-of-body experience uh, as, a, as a part of this ceremony, and he was able to see his own self, which is a, a powerful thing. And many of us don't even know that we have that capability to remote view or to be in different places, distant places at once. We haven't even tapped into that side of our human existence. But with the healing arts, you know, and different things that enhance our character and our psyche and our spirit, then we will remember how to tap into these different things. And on that note, I'm happy to hear what our next caller has to say. Greetings, is that me? Yes, yes. You yeah, in, brother. How you doing? Nuri. Yes. This is Baba Kenneman, Nuri. Baba Kenneman, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Oh, I am black plastic, brother. I just want to like chime in like with everything that everyone has said about you. Um, as far as the impact you're having on the youth, I want to say rest in power to Sister Beauty. Um, I, I, I experienced her tour. She's really she she really opened the, the floodgates, if you must, uh, for us understanding how much we should respect and honor where we come from and what we're working with. And I'm I'm like really honored um, to. Um, you know, see you continue to keep that banner rolling. And I also wanted to take the time to just like really invite the Chicago Massive and all the ones, you know, everybody tune in and tap in. Um, we, we're going to really go down and um, like heal, you know, heal a break, if you must, ourselves down there, the crystal mind. Um, this is for everybody. You know, please recognize that um, that, that same, uh, that the brother that he showed in the video, that's what the originals that were here on this land before colonialism and all the other madness that has happened. That's what it looked like. That's what your Indians look like. That's what it, the word Indian comes from, indigenous. And Kwame um, is an indigenous man. He's going to be leading our ceremony. It's going to be off the chain. It's going to be soul inspiring. I just invite everybody, come up out the city and get back into your, your, your body temple. You know, the, the Nipe is an incredible ceremony. It, I, it's had incredible effects on my personal life. Um, there's nothing wrong with sweating those sweat glands out this way. Everybody can, I know you've been to the gym, but I let you know that this is way more, um, you know, um, taxing on you. You know, it's, it's, it's definitely a journey, but it's worth it. You're going to come out of there cleansed and purged. Yes, yes, sir. Now, my man, Baba Ken, um, we're talking about the Nipe that we have going on, which is a, a, a creative uh, cosmic uh, experience that's happening at the end of the month, actually on the new moon. But also, um, uh, Ken, you are also what you consider to be an alchemist, right? And maybe you can tell me more about that. A lot of people have heard of alchemy uh, and uh, alchemists, but tell me about this concept, brother, of alchemy and the work that you do with the gems and their energetic piezoelectric properties, because we touched on that a little bit a couple of weeks ago. Since, you know, crystal mining is a big aspect of, uh, of my art form and as well as uh, what energizes me and helps me tap into my creative space. But I know you have been a purveyor and a collector of fine crystals for as long as I've known you, brother. So maybe you can enlighten me more on the alchemy that you're engaging in. Absolutely, brother. Thank you for that. Um, so family, as you all know, alchemy, alchemy is the changing or the producing taking a uh, ordinary metal and turning it into a precious metal. You know, it's taking an ordinary situation and turning it into an extraordinary situation. Well, Al Jimmy, A-L-G-E-M-Y, this is a phrase that I coined and a lifestyle that I live. And what I do is I help people to transform their ordinary life into an extraordinary life. And this is a very important thing because everybody listening to this show, I know one thing for sure about you. You want to see your life in an upshift. You want to see it in an upheaval, and that's what happens. We're drawn to crystals. We're drawn to the things that heal us and, and, and revive us, and crystals just happen to be a very important part of what we are. Um, not only do I uh, produce and make nice what we call, some people call it jewelry. We call it finery. We call it blackery, if you must, because we want to give credit to the original source, but we create things. Um, you know, um, bracelets, earrings, necklaces, uh, things, you know, toe rings, things that are going to enhance your body's performance, you see. 
And so not only that, I'm also um, my divine mate is the uh, creator of and uh, maker and keeper of a sacred formula that was, um, you know, passed on to us by the late great um, Chief Zakur, where we're introducing the body with silica, which is a form of a crystal, okay? And then you have, like, other, like, uh, things that we'll talk about with you up close if you are fortunate enough to, like, you know, get some of our formula. But we're, we're trying to, we're working to heal you inside and out, and crystals are, are all about that. Crystals can protect you and heal you on the outside, but then also on the um, inside, they, 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 they cleanse and purge your body. And so when we get down to um, um, Arkansas family, those of you that um, decide to make this trek with us, we're going to be um, imbibing in that mineral-rich water down there. We're going to be um, having sweat lodge and leafy, uh, sweating it out and getting clear of um, blockages and things like that. And we're going to be eating some righteous foods and everything and uh, dealing with the formulas. It's just going to be a um, fantastic time um, for ourselves and anyone who, who comes in. And I just really encourage people to come and get you some of this healing vibration. Uh, my company, as he's showing you on the screen, there is our mineral deposit. Um, we, we deal in crystals. We deal in nice finery, as you can see. That's a lapis lazuli piece on the screen right there. The blue stone, that's coming out of Egypt. Uh, we do a lot of work in copper, brass, and silver. Uh, we adorn you inside and out. Um, yes. I also wanted to, to let you know, Brother Nuri, that um, I have Sister Tahita on deck, too. So, um, you know, um, but just a little bit later on, you know, she's willing to like, talk a little bit to the family, too, about, you know, her experience, especially with that Anifi. She's a veteran. She's been she's been going to Sweat Lodge for over 20 years now. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Well, I tell you what, Brother, um, why don't you, if you want to let her tap in, we probably got about six minutes before they run us up out the studio. You know, because they be real prompt, Johnny, on the spot on this time. But if she uh, if she got a, a few minutes to share with us some, some yes, heavy words right of here. wisdom, we would love it. Yes, indeedy, family. In the cash, Brother Nori, how are you? Blessings. I'm well, sister. Good to hear from you. Thank you so much for letting us um, share on the platform. Yeah, I've done so many sweat lodges before, and Kwame is one of my favorite leaders of a sweat lodge. Um, the sweat lodge, the experience is different for everybody, so you should go in there with no expectations, but it's a deeply healing um, experience where you're going to sweat, you're going to be exposed to heat yes. and water and earth and tears, so you have, and fire, so you have all the elements there coming together so that they can converge on the inside of you and you could become the season. Yes. So you'll have all the planets and the, the celestial bodies inside of you. You'll become the season. So yes. it'll be a, you'll be at one. It's a, at one of everything. Your, your creepy crawlers, your, your, your wings, your feather, your standing paws. It's definitely a oneness ceremony that should be experienced by everybody and it's a rebirthing re-emerging as well so i'm looking forward to um the, the full moon April yes 30th. yes yes well i definitely appreciate you all and i look forward to seeing y'all and doing some creative um cosmic building as we do in the community and um we look forward to it we're gonna go on and jump the line they, they're giving me the notice i got about five minutes so i'm gonna have to wrap it up but i appreciate y'all time and we're gonna stay connected until we get there all right. Okay. Peace and blessings. I think they they didn't uh you know we done wrapped up, but that was um awesome information um that they were sharing. Oh man, what's going on? My man just dropped in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Brother E, what's happening? You made it. I made it, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was back to answering some phones. Yeah, yeah. Now, have you been to a sweat lodge before or anything? No, I haven't. Um, I really look forward to making it, um, you know, the next one. I've heard yes. a lot about it. You yes. know, I heard that it's real um, eye-opening. Um, yes. A nice way to connect to your spirit, you know. I, I like uh, I like uh, what Sister Tahita Tupac L was talking about. She got to talking about the elements, you know, the primary elements that we're familiar with, the fire, water, earth, and air that combine to make us whole. And... That's also what, uh, you know, 
getting in tune with the elements is all about. That's why we enjoy digging crystals. You know, I played the video with yeah, Taylor out there digging. You yeah, know, we all had a good time. Took the children down to yeah, yeah. the crystal vortex. You know, now once again, the crystal vortex is located in uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas, where the ancient um, Washita, no, the Qualpaw, um, awesome. Native Americans controlled what they call the Valley of the Vapors down there mm -hmm. and the hot spring water. So it was always a healing area uh, as well as like a watering hole, a place of peace where the natives and the tribes would come together uh, because it had uh, such a healing impact. You know, the people chose to come there. You know, they weren't warm when they came there to get involved with the uh, mineral baths and the vapors. And you got, um, you got magnetic... Um, Magnetic rocks down there, yeah, uh, what yeah. I guess they call load lodestones, as well as uh, mountains of crystals and abundance, uh, quartz crystals. So it is very uh, much an interesting place with uh, interesting energy, and uh, we are very much looking forward to it. Uh, you want to add on, bro? Well, I mean, with my experience down there, I had been down there um, not to the crystal mines, but you know, we had went down there to the diamond mine a couple times. Yeah. But yep. the crystal mines, it was uh, my first time, and it was, it was very impressive. You know, I. Um, I was kind of shocked to just see, just to be able to walk around and, and when the sun come out, you just see little crystals sparkling in the dirt, you yes. know, and you get a little closer, start digging and looking and, uh, but it, it was real good. I got, I have some, um, a few, I'll say experiments that I'm going to be doing with, with my crystals, <laughs> you know, um, being that the last time we talked on the show, we said that, you know, crystals, um, Quartz is used in like lasers and radios and all that. So I'm gonna be trying to do some experiments with um, with with I ain't gonna say radio waves, but just like some frequencies and trying to um reach out in in connection with what you was mentioning earlier too about um about remote viewing and um yeah and because I I really I really think that um it could be a, a somewhat of a bridge or a tool to use to um. Let's say, um, yeah, like expand your your mental um, frequency, you know, yes. and and possibly you know reach out to those who have passed on or uh, reach out to um, just just a far off distance place. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to do some, work some experiments around that. Yeah. Soon. Yeah, I see they gave us the one minute mark. I yeah, think we yeah. I think we got shorted out a minute and a half today, but who's counting? Um, it's been an awesome show. All, big thanks to Can TV, big thanks to my people at Mineral Deposit, big thanks to Baba Kwame. Uh, maybe he'll be able to chime in next week. And that we, was Baba Ken I'm in my not, not to cut you off. That was Baba, Baba Ken, Baba, Baba Ken, Baba you Ken. know, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Baba yeah, Ken. It's been that. a while, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, it's been a blast. Many blessings, big thanks to the most high for uh continuing to watch over us. May uh, we continue to pray for the community. May we continue to try to connect with positivity. And most of all, may we continue to show some love. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.